Operation Pool Toy! Hi, I'm Johan. I was Story Lee on Toy Story 4. My name is Valerie LaPointe, and I was the Story Supervisor on Toy Story 4. And I'm also the writer and director of Lamp Life. And this is Pixar Scenes Explained. Flashlight. My job as the Story Lee on Toy Story 4, I board the scenes. So when we pitch in these little drawings, just adding sound effect and try to make it more immersive. My job as story supervisor was to help figure out what the story is going to be. Not just drawing it, um, but we are <laughs> adding to it, plussing it, problem solving it, keep reworking it, and that till eventually it goes to an editor. And we do that process again and again and, again, and again, again, again for three years, three four years. years. <laughs> so in this opening scene of Toy Story 4, we get to see Woody and Bo together rescue RC the car. This franchise is so much about these toy family, their journey. It's like yeah. you wanted to immediately dive back in and see all these toys you're familiar with. And from that, the scene then moves into Bo being given away, and we see the big goodbye between her and Woody. There's something natural about this world that uh, it's a danger to be a lost toy, it's a danger to be outside, so you don't really see the human's face very clearly. So you connect it with toy more than the humans. We needed to really show that Bo was an equal leader to Woody. The shots were even done to reinforce that Bo is a leader and equal to him. There's a shot of them literally next to each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same amount of space on the frame. That's why when they say Operation Pull Toy, they, they both say it. Bo right? tipping his head, that came in early on. It's an action as opposed to words that tells you there's something between them. Here we're opening in a scene that technically takes place between Toy Story 2 and Toy Story 3. Bo wasn't in the Toy Story 3 to remind audience who she is become a really huge important task. We're re-establishing her place in this room as a lamp. That's often how we saw her. She became this perfect character to really explore the idea of changing the idea of a lost toy. You know, kids lose their toys every day. But this place in the timeline, Woody would not leave Andy. He wouldn't yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah. And then on the other side, it was like, how much would Bo be trying to make him go? And she wouldn't be telling him to come either. Mm -hmm. It would have to be mm -hmm. his choice. That was like a fine line to find all the, yeah. the tiny nuance of how to play that scene. He's being torn between those loves, you know? And that's always been Woody's challenge of trying to find his place and keep everyone happy, keep himself happy in, this, in these dynamics. Oh, there you are. Thanks for watching Pixar Scenes Explained. Toy Story 4 is now on Disney Plus. Disney Plus.